Welcome biologists. In this session we're going to take a look at spec point E and F which is looking basically at the light independent stage of photosynthesis. Now this occurs within the stroma inside the chloroplast and don't forget we've got from the products of the light dependent reaction we have the products we have NADP H, we also have ATP from the light dependent reaction. Now they're going to be using the light independent reaction. Now, how this works is first of all, I have a five carbon compound called IUBP. And IUBP is bound to carbon dioxide, which comes into the plant through the stomata, it diffuses through the stomata. So my carbon dioxide combines with my IUBP to form two lots of GP. Now this uses an enzyme called Rubisco to do this. So therefore, um, my, my carbon being attached to my IUBP um, is circumstantial to um, that enzyme working at its optimum. And, and that enzyme is actually quite a very poor enzyme, but it will still be impacted by things like temperature. Now, this process is called carbon fixation, where the carbon from my carbon dioxide is fixed into my IUBP to make two lots of GP, which are a three carbon compound. Now, my GP is then converted into TP, and this is by um, my hydrogen ion and my electron from my NADPH. This has come from my light dependent reaction. My electron and my hydrogen are going to be moved onto my GP. So if my GP is gaining a hydrogen and electron, it has been reduced. So my GP is being reduced and it's also going to be phosphorylated because my GP is going to gain an inorganic phosphate from ATP. Um, so therefore, this means that I'm going to get an ADP. This can then go back to my light, um, light dependent stage to pick up another hydrogen ion and also an electron and I'm left with ADP and again this can be phosphorylated back into ATP using ATP synthase from a light dependent stage. So after my GP has been phosphorylated and reduced to make my two lots of GP, again that's a three carbon compound, I get what's known as product regeneration and what happens here is out of my, so I've got two lots of GP, sorry, TP, which are three carbon compound. So I've got six carbons in total. Now what happens is one of those carbons comes off and it makes some kind of a product. Now that product could be something like um, glucose. It could make up starch. It could make up um, cellulose. It could make up um, a non-carbohydrate based source, such as it could make um, a lipid or it could make a um, an amino acid. So one of those carbons is removed and then I'm left with five in total. So I get IUBP being regenerated. And that is the light dependent, independent reaction which occurs within the stroma. And that is pretty much everything that we need to know. Now we need to use this terminology when we're talking about the light independent stage, which is also known as the Calvin cycle. And that is everything you need to know. Guys, good luck with your exam.